Friday. Today at school, we got assigned to reading groups. They don't come right out and tell you if you're in the gifted group or the easy group. But you can figure it out right away by looking at the covers of the books they hand out. Einstein as a child. Bing says boo. I was pretty disappointed. Find out I got put in the gifted group because that just means a lot of extra work. When they did the screening at the end of last year, I did my best to make sure I got put in the easy group this year. Fred picked up the ba ba be we thanks the book. Mom is reading tight with our principal, so I bet she stepped in and make sure I got put in the gifted group again. Mom is always saying I'm a smart kid, but that I just don't apply myself. But if there's one thing I learned from Roderick, it's to set people's expectation real low so you end up surprising them by practically doing nothing at all. Roderick, I want you dirty underwear off the kitchen table before I get home from the work. Grant, later. Actually, I'm kind of glad my plan to get put in the easy group didn't work. I saw a couple of the Bing Says Boo kids holding their books upside down, and I don't think they were joking. Saturday. Well, the first week of school is finally over, so today I slept in. Most kids wake up early on Saturday to watch cartoons or whatever, but not me. The only reason I get out of bed at all on weekends is because eventually I can't stand the taste of my own breed anymore. Smack smack. Unfortunately, Dad wakes up at 6 a.m. in the morning no matter what day of the week it is, and he is not real considerate of the fact that I am trying to enjoy my Saturday like a normal person. I didn't have anything to do today, so I just headed up to Rory's house. Rory is technically my best friend, but that is definitely subject to change. I've been avoiding Rory since the first day of school when he did something that really annoyed me. We were getting our stuff from our lockers at the end of the day, and Rolly came up to me and say, Want to come over to my house and pay? I have told Rolly at least a billion times that now that we're in middle school, you're supposed to say, hang out, not play. But no matter how many hoogies I give him, he always forgets the next time. I've been trying to be a lot more careful down my image ever since I got to middle school, but having Rolly around is definitely not helping. I met Rolly a few years ago when he moved into my neighbor. His mom brought him this book called How to Make Friends in New Places, and he came to my house trying all these dumb skivics. Knock knock. Thermos. Huh? Excuse me? Say what? Thermos be some way to tickle your funny bone. I guess I kind of felt sorry for Rory and I decided to take him under my wing. It's been great having him around, mostly because I get to use all the tricks Roderick pulls on me. Did you know that if your hand is bigger than your face, it's a sign of low intelligence? Really? I got you. But do I have low intelligence? 
Hmm. Let me check again. The end.